I love you that's why I'm telling the truth. Ninakupenda ndio maana nakuambia kweli. Your life is very bright. Maisha yako ni angavu sana. Very bright. Angavu sana. Don't kill yourself because of the time. Usijue mwenyewe kwa sababu ya muda. If you open the Bible, the book of 1 Corinthians, kwenye kitabu cha Wakorintho wa kwanza, chapter 3, sura 3, 16 up to 17. Kumna sita mpaka kumna saba. Yes, my son. Nitasoma kwa msaada wa Bwana Yesu. <clears throat> Hamjui ya kuwa ninyi mmekuwa hekalu la Mungu na ya kuwa roho wa Mungu anakaa ndani yenu. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe. You see it? Unaweza kuona? After you to accept Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Baada wewe kumkubali Yesu kwa Bwana na mkosi wako. Your body become the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mwili wako unafanyika kuwa ni hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu. The temple of God. Hekalu la Mungu. After you are accepting Jesus. Baada wewe kumkubali Yesu to be your Lord and Savior. Kwa Bwana na mkosi wako. You are temple. Hekalu lako become the house of God. Inafanyika kwa nyumba ya Mungu. Become the house of the Holy Spirit. Inafanyika kwa nyumba ya Roho Mtakatifu. You are temple. Hekalu lako You don't know it. That's why you misuse your body. You don't know it. You don't know you misuse your body. Because you don't know that this body is not for food. This is a house of God. Now you are a new creation. Sasa wewe ni umbaji mpya. You are a new creation. Your body is not the house of darkness. Your body is not the house of sin. Your body is not the house of the drunkard. Your body is the house of the smoke. Do you know the smoke of the spirit? Do you know the smoke of the spirit? A drunkard in the spirit. Do you know lust in the spirit? Lust. Come on. Why? Kwani that's why it has a name. Ndio maana ina jina. Kuna roho ya ulevi, kuna roho ya uvutaji sigara, ni roho. Kuna roho ya uzinzi, kuna roho ya uongo, it's a spirit. Hizo ni roho. But the Bible is telling us. Na ina Biblia inatuambia. You do, do you know? Je, unafahamu? Do you know? Unafahamu? Sure body. Kwa mwili wako. Is a temple. Ni hekalu. Oh God, do you know your body? Is a temple of the Holy This word is talking to us me and you as a Christian. Paul, he was not telling the non-believer. Paulo hakuwa anawaambia wasio amini. He was talking for the believer. Alikuwa anawaambia waamini. Say you believer. Nasema ninyi waamini. You are doing evil. But you don't know. That you are body is a temple of God. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Your body is a temple of Jesus Christ. Ni hekalu la Yesu Kristo. It's not the temple of lust. Sio hekalu la giza la la tamaa. You know the temple of smoker. Sio hekalu la uvutaji sigara. Temple of drunker. Sio hekalu la ulevi. No, hapana. How can you come out from it? Unawezaje kutoka kwenye hiyo? is you to acknowledge ni wewe kutambua that your body the body you have now as a born again the body you have is the house of god ni nyumba ya mungu is the house of god ni nyumba ya mungu the body you have is the temple of the holy spirit the body you have is the house of jesus christ nyumba ya yesu kwiso but you don't know it lakini you are enjoying your saying you are christian unafurahia na unasema ni not a christian wewe sio mkristo if you are still committing kama bado unaenda kufanya dhambi Paul is telling us Paul anatuambia as a Christian kama wa Kristo how sin is bad namna gani dhambi ni mbaya and maybe we are committing sin because we don't know this body we have na labda tunafanya dhambi kwa sababu hatufahamu huu mwili tulionao is a house of god anasema hii ni nyumba ya Mungu heavenly father Mungu baba we want to visit on earth kama nataka kutembea duniani is dwelling for those who believe in Christ anakaa kwa wale wanaomwamini Kristo but here you are enjoying it lakini wewe unafurahia Enjoying. You make sin easy. Una, una your, prayer, your prayer cannot bring any result. Na maombi yako hayawezi kuleta matokeo yoyote. How your prayer can bring a result? Maombi yako yanawezaje kuleta matokeo? There's no difference between the drunk man who is in the bar there. Hakuna tofauti kati ya mlevi aliyeko kule kwenye nyumba za pombe 
Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo naomba uniwariki in the youth no different na wewe hakuna tofauti because if you are womanizer kwa sababu kama ni mtu wa wanawake and you are praying na bado naomba and the drunk is praying na mlete naomba what the difference tofauti ni ipi what the difference tofauti ni ipi you have never seen in the uh, in other in other clubs you see people they are praying the gospel song Je, hujawahi kuona kwenye kuona kwenye vilabu vya pombe watu wana wana wanaimbisha nyimbo za za injili? If you are a Christian, kama wewe ni mkristo, if you are a new born again, kama umezaliwa mara pili, come out from it. Toka kwenye hiyo. And the danger person, na mtu hatari, is the one who know the truth. Ni yule anayefahamu kweli and is doing the evil. Na anafanya mabaya. Take it. Chukua hilo. You become danger more than devil himself. Unafanika kuwa ni hatari kuliko hata shetani mwenyewe. Take it. Chukua hilo. This is a message must change you. Huu ni ujumbe ambao lazima ukubadilishe. Must change you. Lazima ukubadilishe. So you can enjoy your Christian life. Ili kwamba ufurahie maisha yako ya Ukristo. You can enjoy the greatness. Unaweza kufurahia ukuu. Nawezaje? Nawezaje? Okay. Unawezaje kuamka asubuhi? Who is making you to wake up? Nani anakufanya uamke? kama unaweza kuamka asubuhi ndivyo ambavyo ilivyo rais atawe kuacha zamu very easy rais it is say no nikusema hapana sizani kama ukimwambia mwanaume au mwanamke ukimwambia mimi na wewe from today i cannot share with you anything kwanza leo siwezi kushikana no na, na wewe chochote akakulazimisha haiwezekani lakini kwa sababu wa kristo Mnajiamini sana ndio mnakuwa wa kwanza kutembea kwenye mageto ya wanaume. Toka lini? Swala akaenda kwenye zizi la simba na akawa salama. Toka lini? Lini? Swala akaenda kwenye zizi la lini la simba. Aka agree swala anamwambia baba ninakuja simba lakini naomba please leo usinizuru. Haya sawa njo. Mimi hamna shida leo sina njaa kwanza leo. Niko vizuri sana leo toka lini it can't be haiwezi kuwa praise god alie mungu asante the same thing kitu hicho hicho as a christian Ka- kama kristo we can say we are enjoying blessing we are casting demon in the yet demon is now about it kuna mapepo wakati mapepo yako ndani ya mili yetu mungu tunaomba fire fire nakata 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 ukitoka hapo you are going to sleep with a man truth must stand kweli lazima isimame truth will change us kweli itatubadilisha life is in truth maisha iko ndani ya kweli we accept jesus tumempokea yesu to be our lord and savior kwa bwana na mwokozi wetu purposely kwa kusudi to be out from sin ili tutoke kwenye dhambi why become born again kwa nini tumezaliwa mara pili if we are still committing a sin kama bado tunaendelea kufanya dhambi why become born again kwa nini tumezaliwa mara pili Why we become born again? Kwa nini tumezaliwa mara pili? If we are still committing a sin and enjoying the sin. Kama bado tunaendelea kufanya dhambi na kufurahia dhambi. Why we become born again? Kwa nini tumezaliwa mara pili? If we are still enjoying sin. Kama why we become born again? Tunaendelea kufurahia dhambi. Kwa nini tumezaliwa mara pili? Kwa ajili ya nini? For what? Kwa ajili ya nini? If we are still enjoying the sin we are saying we are born again, we are lying. Kama tunaendelea kufanya furaha dhambi na tunasema kwamba tumezaliwa mara pili tunajidanganya wenyewe. Tunajidanganya. Because being born again kwa sababu kuzaliwa mara pili is being out from committing a sin. Ni kuwa mbali na kufanya dhambi. The different tofauti for those who non believer kwa wasioamini and as a believer na sisi kama waamini this is a different. Hiyo ndio tofauti. Them they have money they commit a sin there's wow. no of sin wao wana wana fedha lakini bado wanaenda kufanya dhambi but us lakini sisi we are born again tumezaliwa mara pili being out from sin tumekuwa mbali na dhambi being out from the slave of sin tumetoka kwenye utumwa wa dhambi continue my son to read there endelea kusoma pale mstari wa 17 mm-hmm. kama mtu akiharibu hekalu la Mungu mm-hmm. Mungu atamharibu mtu huyo Praise God alia. Mungu asadiria. What the Bible is telling us? Biblia inatuambia nini? If a person will destroy the house of God, kama mtu ataharibu nyumba ya Mungu, the temple of God, hekalu la Mungu, 
Even God you saw that person. Hata Mungu atamharibu hiyo mtu. Why your body is a temple of God? Kwa nini mwili wako ni hekalu ya Mungu? Because he did not push you to accept him. Kwa sababu yeye hakukulazimisha umpokee yeye. You are the one you accept Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Wewe ndio uliamua kumkubali Yesu kuwa Bwana mkosoa. You are the one you give him your body. Wewe ndio ulimpa mwili wako. You are the one you submit your soul and your spirit. Wewe ndio uliotisha roho yako. So yako now yako. God has ability and authority to your body. Kwa sasa Mungu ana uwezo na mamlaka na mwili wako. So meaning being born again. Kwa maana yake kuzaliwa mara pili is submitting yourself from the authority of, of heaven. Ni kutisha mwenyewe mwili wako kwenye mamlaka ya kimbingu. So now it's no longer you. Kwa sasa sio wewe tena. It is just in you. Yesu Kristo. So now it's no longer your temple. Kwa sasa sio hekalu lako. Meaning you are the body you have now. Because, because of, of Jesus, accepting Jesus. Kwa sababu ya kumkubali. To be your Lord and Savior. Kwa bwana mkosoa. It's no longer your body. Sio mwili wako tena. It's a temple of God. Ni hekalu la Mungu. Maybe you don't know. Labda hufahamu. You used to have your own authority. Ulikuwa na mamlaka yako mwenyewe. The day that you did not accept Jesus your Lord. Siku ambazo hukumkubali Yesu kwa Bwana mkosoa. But after accepting Jesus Christ. Lakini baada ya kumpokea Yesu. To be your Lord and Savior. Now your body is not your body. Sasa mwili wako huo sio mwili wako. Now your temple is not your temple. Sasa hekalu lako sio Now you was not your spirit. Sasa roho yako sio yako. It is God protecting you every day. Ni Mungu anakulinda kila siku. As I say. Ndio maana umesema. If anyone will destroy my temple. Kama kuna mtu ataliharibu hekalu langu. Even me I destroy him. Hata mimi nitamharibu yeye. So see the way you are destroying the temple of God. Kwa ona jinsi unavoliharibu hekalu ya Mungu. Maybe if unless you're not born again. Labda kama haujazaliwa mara pili. If you're not born again. Kama hujaliwa mara pili. Jesus, yes, you don't have access to his body. Hana nafasi ya kuingia ndani ya mwili wako. Congratulations. Hongera. If you're not born again. Kama hujazaliwa mara pili. You don't accept Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Haujamkubali Yesu kwa Bwana mkosoa. Jesus, you don't have access to his body. Yesu hana nafasi ya kuingia ndani ya mwili wako. You don't have access. Hana hiyo nafasi. Na mwili wako. So you can use your body whatever you want to use. Kwa unaweza kutumia mwili wako kwa you are a leader of your body. Wewe ni kiongozi wa mwili wako. But if you accept Jesus, lakini kama umempokea Yesu, to be your Lord and Savior. Kwa Bwana mkosoa wako. Now your body. Sasa mwili wako. Is no longer your body. Sio mwili wako. Is the house of God. Ni nyumba ya Mungu. Now your body. Sasa mwili wako. Is no longer your body the temple of God. Sio mwili wako tena. So you cannot use your body for doing evil. Kwa uweze kutumia mwili wako kwa kufanya mabaya. God is saying. Mungu amesema. He is not the devil come to destroy you. He said it is God himself. Anasema Mungu mwenyewe. If you destroy his body. Kama ataharibu mwili wako. He will destroy you. Atakuharibu wewe. It is God himself he said. Ni Mungu mwenyewe amesema. Did my son what he said? Soma amesemaje? Kwa maana kama mtu akiharibu hekalu la Mungu, mm-hmm. Mungu atamharibu mtu huyo. Kama mtu afanye karibu ni hekalu nini? La Mungu. Hekalu gani aliongelea? Eh? Mwili. Mwili wa nani? Wa kwako. Kwa nini limekuwa hekalu la Mungu? Kwa sababu umeshampokea yeye kwa nini na mokozi? ila kama hujampokea congratulations because you have freedom kwa sababu una uhuru ila kama umempokea Kristo kwa Bwana na mokozi wako amesema huo mwili ni hekalu lake huu na mamlaka nao so if you think you are doing or committing a sin nothing bad happening kwa kama unafikiri unaendelea kufanya dhambi hakuna chochote kibaya kitatokea is on your head kuna kitu kiko mbele yako because the word of God cannot lie. Kwa sababu neno Mungu haliwezi kudanganya. The word of God cannot lie. Je, neno Mungu linaweza kudanganya? The word of God cannot lie. Neno wa Mungu haliwezi kudanganya. Because the word of God is truth. Kwa sababu neno wa Mungu ni kweli. So if you think you are safe, kwa ukifikiri kwamba uko salama, you are doing evil you are safe. Unafanya mabaya na unasema uko salama. Wait. Subiri. That's why you don't know the value of your body. Ndio maana hauifahamu thamani ya mwili wako. Because you don't know that your, the body you have is no longer your body the house of Jesus. Kwa sababu ufahamu kwamba mwili unaonao sio mwili wako tena ni nyumba ya Yesu. Is a house of God. Ni nyumba ya Mungu. So the more you are keeping beer to destroy your body to beg any man to beg any women to touch you. Na mwanaume yote kukugusa, mwanamke yote kukugusa. Easy. Kiraisi. The one who has a thought above your body is saying. Aliye na mamlaka juu ya mwili wako anasema I am next to you. Mimi ndio nitakayefuata. I know what to do. I will destroy you. Nafahamu nini nitasema? Nitakuharibu. I will destroy you. Nitakuharibu. So how? 
you can see now unaweza kuona sasa because now christianity sin become like a lifestyle kwa sababu sasa wa kristo dhambi imekuwa kama mtindo wa maisha lifestyle mtindo wa maisha someone coming on the church mtu anakuja kanisani very good sinner mtenda dhambi mzuri sana very good sinner mtenda dhambi mzuri sana and you are enjoying committing a sin na unaendelea unafurahia kufanya dhambi if you say prophet kisema nabii can i leave church yanaweza kuacha kanisa mimi i advise mimi nakushauri if you don't start yourself saying yourself i need to change kwa sababu kama hujaanza mwenyewe kusema kwamba anataka kubadilika because change comes when you want to change kwa sababu mabadiliko yanakuja pale unapotaka hayo mabadiliko there's no way change can come if you don't want change hakuna namna mabadiliko yakaja kama hutaki kubadilika it is you ni wewe you must accept change lazima ukubali mabadiliko say i need to change kusema ninahitaji kubadilika i don't want to be a slave of sin anymore Taki kwa mtumwa wa dhambi tena. Tired. Nimechoka. Sing the day I did I commit a sin I did not get anything. Tangu siku nimeanza kufanya dhambi sijapata chochote. I need to change. Nahitaji kubadilika. I need to please God. Nahitaji kumpendeza Mungu. I don't want to be a messenger of my body. Sitaki kwa mjumbe wa mwili wangu. I don't want to be a messenger of my body. I don't want. Sitaki kwa mjumbe wa mwili wangu sitaki. Don't want that. Don't want. Sitaki, sitaki. There is no way. Hakuna namna. Devil can come and push you. Shetani akaja kulazimisha. There is no way. Hakuna namna. There is no way. Hakuna namna. There is no way. Hakuna namna. I was a drunk. Nilikuwa mlevi. In those days. Katika siku za nyuma before accepting Jesus to be my Lord and Savior. Kabla kumpokea Yesu kwa Bwana na makozi wangu. After accepting Jesus. Baada kumkubali Yesu to be my Lord and Savior. Kwa Bwana na makozi wangu. I used to be in relationship. Nilikuwa kwenye mahusiano one of the girlfriends. Na rafiki yangu akike moja the day i accept siku nilipompokea i said nikasema i cannot drink anymore siwezi kunywa pombe tena it come to pass na ikatimia i started disconnecting myself from any kind of friends nikaanza kujitenganisha mwenyewe kutoka kwa marafiki no one preached to me to live uh drunk hakuna mtu aliyenihubiria mimi kuacha ulevi no one hakuna hata mmoja even in the place that i was i used to worship hata eneo ambalo nilikuwa naabudu they don't preaching about sin hawakuwa na ubili kwa habari ya dhambi no hapana but myself lakini mimi mwenyewe i cannot nikasema siwezi i went back nikarudi nikarudi nyuma to my girlfriend kwa uh, rafiki yangu wa kike i said nikasema from today kuanzia leo i can't sleep with you siwezi kulala na wewe i finish Kamaliza. No one preached to me but hakuna aliyenihubiria. Instead of me I hate. Lakini ndani yangu nilichukia. So why are you enjoying committing a sin? Kwa kwa nini unaendelea kufurahia kufanya dhambi? See now. Ona sasa. God is saying. Mungu amesema. The body you have. Mwili una nao. Now is no longer your body. Sasa sio mwili wako tena. It's a house of God. Ni nyumba ya Mungu. It's a temple of God. Ni hekalu la Mungu. See the way you misuse the temple of God. Ona jinsi ulivyotumia vibaya hekalu la Mungu. See the way you misuse the house of God. Ona jinsi ulivyotumia vibaya nyumba ya Mungu. God say, ya Mungu kusema, your body is his house. Mwili wako ndio nyumba yake. Take it. Chukua hilo. Think twice. Fikiri mara mbili. Oh. Now my body is not my body. Sasa kumbe mwili wangu sio mwili wangu tena. Why when you see God saying your body is my house. Unapomwona Mungu anasema mwili wako ni nyumba yangu. Meaning this place God is visiting you every time. Maana yake hili eneo ndio ambalo Mungu anakutembelea kila wakati. Without yourself knowing. Bila wewe kufahamu. Hauwezi kusema tu kwamba mimi ndio ni hekalu langu kama Mungu aje. Hauwezi kuwa na hekalu ambao ulitembelei. You in the church here. Some of you. Badien, the place you are coming from. Enomri ukotokea. You close the door your 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 house. Mmefunga milango ya nyumba zenu. Haimaanishi kama mruti na pale. Sio hivyo. Ibada ikishaisha kila mmoja kwenu ni kwenye hekalu. Like the same thing to God. Kitu hicho hicho kwa Mungu. Asa je ukifika kule ukaona mtu mwingine ametia kufuli nyingine utaingia? Eh? Unafika umeka kufuli pale Solex kuna kufuli lingine limeuka pale nkapa nafungua una unafungua la kwako unakula nafungua lakini huwezi kuingia the same thing unapokuwa unafanya uovu unaweka tia kufuli lingine ambapo Mungu hawezi kuingia ndani because God is holy 
kwa sababu Mungu ni mtakatifu unapokuwa unafanya uovu unamzuia Mungu kukutembelea kukaa na wewe kulala na wewe na kuamka na wewe Praise God hallelujah Mungu asifiwe ndio maana anasema hekalu kwa maana yake mwili wako ni hekalu nini hekalu lake kwa unapokuwa unafanya uovu ni sana na wewe una nyumbani kwako kwenye kile chumba chako mtu anabadilisha kufuri utaingia Is what you are doing hivyo ndivyo unavyofanya Mungu anataka kutembelea wewe unatia kufuri lingine Akifika baada hawezi kuwa na access ukifanya dhambi Mungu hawezi kuwa na access ya kuingia ndani yako If you commit a sin God he can't have access to Ukifanya, enter inside of you Ukifanya dhambi Mungu hawezi kupata nafasi ya kuingia ndani yako He can't have access hawezi kupata nafasi Because now it's no longer light but you close all the way kwa sababu sasa sio nuru tena lakini umefunga njia zote yani Mungu hawezi kafika tu umespendi usiku kucha unazini alafu eti Mungu waje akae huko ndani umeshaanza kuzini na ingita lie na it cannot do it hawezi kuingia it cannot do it think twice fikiri mara you are a christian wewe ni mkristo you are a christian wewe ni mkristo you are a christian wewe ni mkristo you are a born again umezaliwa mara pili the new blessing mwenye baraka mpya you will know you are blessed you are blessed utaifahamu baraka yako you will know you are blessed utafahamu kama umebarikiwa if you are out from sin kama umetoka kwenye dhambi you will know utafahamu you are blessed kama umebarikiwa ulikuwa mtu wa wanawake umeacha wanawake ulikuwa mlevi umeacha ulevi ulikuwa mwongo umeacha uongo you will know now i am blessed utafahamu kwamba sasa nimebarikiwa Say I'm blessed because of money and car. Sio kama kusema nimebarikiwa kwa sababu ya fedha na magari. No, you are lying. Unadanganya. Praise God alleluia. Mungu asifiwe. Why I'm saying this? Kwa nini nasema haya? If you are born again, be born again. Kama umezaliwa mara pili. Everyone must know you are born again. Na kila mmoja lazima afahamu kwamba amezaliwa mara pili. Be proud. Jisikie fahari. Don't live in sin. Usishi kwenye dhambi. This preaching is more than more than nyama choma. Mahubiri haya ni zaidi ya nyama choma. It's good for you. Ni It's so kwa. sweet for you. Ma- matamu sana kwako. Because we are building a relationship between me uh, between us and Jesus Christ. Kwa sababu tunajenga mahusiano kati ya sisi na Yesu Kristo. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asante. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. It's more than blessing. Hii ni zaidi ya baraka. More than any blessing you need. Zaidi ya baraka yote unayohitaji. Even if you are a menis moja za kuhesabu Kani sasa msikia siku mbili tu. Yo. Amen. Amen. Sasa useme hapa. Ah, wewe kuinuliwa. Ye ndio baba. But this is a beautiful message. Lakini huu ndio ujumbe mzuri. More than any message. Zaidi ya ujumbe wa aina yoyote. Because this message is changing you kwa sababu ujumbe huu unakubadilisha to make you a true christian kukufanya wewe kuwa mkristo wa kweli i refuse nimekataa to, to divert you kukugeuza to divert your spirit kuigeuza roho yako from loving the things of this world kutoka kupenda vitu vya dunia hii i refuse it nimekataa I want to love Jesus. Nataka umpende Yesu. If you love Jesus, ukimpenda Yesu, you will hate sin. Utaichukia dhambi. If you love Jesus, ukimpenda Yesu, you will hate sin. Utaichukia dhambi. Because sin is a cause of the problem. Kwa sababu dhambi ni Whether you like it or not. Upende ama usipende. Even if you are coming to worship here, hata kama unakuja kuabudu hapa, and you are committing a sin there outside. Na unafanya dhambi huko nje. You are a religious wewe ni mtu wa dini you are not born again wewe hujazaliwa mara ya pili because being born again kwa sababu kuzaliwa mara ya pili is being separated from sin ni kutengwa mbali na dhambi of being born again huko ndo kuzaliwa mara ya pili you can't love sin hawezi kuipenda dhambi it is same born again na ukasema ni mazaliwa mara ya pili na mara can love no way no way why no way because sin is death Say, say no way. Ndio anasema hakuna namna. Because sin kwa sababu dhambi is death. Ni mauti. 
how can you love death unawezaje kupenda mauti how can you love death unawezaje kupenda mauti because sin is death kwa sababu dhambi na mauti how can you love death unawezaje kupenda mauti it take very courageous inakuchukua na moyo ujasiri sana to love death kupenda mauti love death kupenda mauti this is death that you love death unafahamu hii ni mauti na unaipenda christian wa kristo change your heart badilisha moyo wako change your heart badilika moyo wako be out from sin toka kwenye dhambi make it easy to do good jirahisisha kwaje kufanya mazuri make it easy to do good jirahisisha kufanya mazuri not easy to commit a sin sio kujirahisisha kufanya dhambi if you are still committing a sin don't say i'm a christian kama bado unaenda kufanya dhambi useme mimi ni mkristo you are lying unajidanganya you are lying unajidanganya let the truth shape us acha kweli tutengeneshe we cannot enjoy the grace hatuwezi kufurahia neema by saying i receive kusema napokea i receive napokea i receive money napokea i receive house napokea nyumba we are lying tunadanganya truth is being out from sin kweli ni kuwa mbali na dhambi and a sin is a cause of all problem na dhambi ndio chanzo cha matatizo yote sin is a cause of all bad things you are seeing dhambi ndio chanzo cha mabaya yote na wewe sin is a cause of all death dhambi ndio chanzo cha mauti yote na yona love jesus hate sin mpende yesu ichukie dhambi that's why people they hate the truth ndio maana watu wanaichukia kweli but me lakini mimi no matter how truth is burning me haidalishi kwa kiasi gani kweli inaniunguza but i love the truth lakini naipenda kweli i love the truth naipenda kweli because truth is for my own future kwa sababu kweli ni kwa ajili ya hatima yangu mwenyewe truth is a result of all things you are seeing in this church kweli ni matokeo ya vitu vyote unavyoviona kwenye kanisa hili all that you are seeing here kila unachokiona not shortcuts sio njia mkato not by shortcuts sio kwa njia mkato others are receiving blessing wengine wanapokea baraka because of the truth kwa sababu ya kweli The only way that can attract a blessing in your life. Njia pekee ambayo itakavuta baraka kwenye maisha yako. Hate in the sea. Ni kuichukia dhambi. Hate in the sea. Chukia dhambi kwa kazi wewe sana. Blessing will come. Baraka zitakuja. Blessing will come. Baraka zitakuja. Never take a shortcut. Sijapita kwenye njia mkata yote. But God he performed a great blessing. Lakini Mungu amefanya baraka kubwa sana. Why? Kwa nini? Because from beginning. Kwa sababu tokea mwai hate. Nimechukia dhambi. I hate sin. Nime shikia da. So I'll say prophet. Ndio bana nasema nabii how to succeed? Umefanikiwaje? How do you succeed? Unafanikiwaje? You drop any piece and drop this. How do you succeed? How do you unafanikiwaje? I'm a preacher only. Please I'll be preacher. So mimi ni mhubiri peke yake na nitakuwa mhubiri milele yote. I'll be a preacher. Nitakuwa mhubiri. I know if you love the truth. Na tu ukipenda kweli truth being light. Kweli inaleta nuru. I refuse to have my own way. Nimekataa kuwa na jambo mwenyewe. I refuse. Nimekataa. Why? Kwa nini? Because I know. Kwa sababu nafahamu. If you remain in truth, ukibakia ndani ya kweli, if you remain in light, ukibakia ndani ya dada your future is bright. Hatima yako ni angafu. Your future is bright. Hatima yako ni angafu. Don't love darkness. Usilipende giza. Don't love darkness. Usilipende giza. The way of darkness is short. Njia ya giza ni fupi. Take it. Chukue your body. Mwili wako is a house of God. Ni nyumba ya Mungu. Take it. Chukue hiyo. If you know your body is a house of God. Ukifahamu kwamba mwili wako ni nyumba ya Mungu, you can't allow any man to touch. Hauwezi kukuruhusu mwanamume yote kukugusa. Fear the man but fear the God is useless. Kumwogopa mwanadamu pia kumwogopa Mungu haina maana yote as fear Jesus. Lazima umogope Yesu. The one who is the author. Ambaye ni mwanzilishi wa mwili wako. Praise God. Mungu asalimu. Yes. Ndio. Your body. Mwili wako is a house. Ni nyumba yake. Don't misuse yourself. Usijitumie vibaya wenyewe. Don't make yourself easy. 
Usile sisi mwenyewe kwa kila kitu. Don't make yourself cheap to men. Usile sisi mwenyewe kwa wanaume. What do you get? Nini unapata? After doing evil, what do you get? Baada ya kufanya mabaya, nini unachopata? What do you get? Unapata nini? Do you know if you marry and you sleep with your wife, you have a baby? Ndio unafahamu kwamba ukioa na ukanana na mume wako utapata mtoto. But the thing you are doing, lakini unachokifanya is useless. Hakina maana yote. It's wasting your time. Nikupoteza muda wako. It's wasting your time. Kinapoteza muda wako. You are not in marriage. Hauko ndani ya ndoa. You not marry. Haujaoa. The things is evil. Hivyo vitu vyote ni uovu. Don't allow men. Usiruhusu wanaume. Don't allow. Usiruhusu. Because we are complaining to devil. Kwa sababu tunamlalamikia shetani. Yet you are a cause of the problem. Wakati wewe ndio chanzo cha matatizo. As I told you, if you are a Christian, kama nilivyokuambia, kama ni mkristo, you are born again. Umezaliwa mara pili. Devil he, can, he, he cannot have access to touch you. Shetani hawezi kuwa na nafasi ya kukugusa until you open the door. Mpaka umefungua mlango mwenyewe. Come out. Toka from doing evil. Katika kufanya mabaya. Go back to the house of your father. Rudi kwenye nyumba ya babako. And enjoy. Na ufurahie his blessing. Baraka zake. This message ujumbe huu is for me and you. Ni kwa ajili yangu na kwa ajili yako. God is reminding us. Mungu anatukumbusha that we are a temple of God. Na sisi ni hekalu za Mungu. We are a temple of God. Sisi ni hekalu za Mungu. We should not misuse the temple of God. Tusilitumie vibaya hekalu za Mungu. Let us use the temple of God for worshiping him. Acha tulitumie hekalu za Mungu kwa ajili ya kumwabudu yeye and they give him glory na kumpa yeye utukufu and they give him praise na kumpa sifa very important muhimu sana time is not waiting anyone muda haumsubiri mtu yoyote keep watching bog family tv jesus christ loves you